In today's video, I'm going to show you a powerful tool that you can use in Divi to change your images from this to that and to this. Now, all this is going to be done in Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. All right, so I've already gone ahead and created my page here and I'm already in the Divi Builder. So I'm going to click on this plus button to add my columns and we're going to go with these three columns. So let's add our image. I'm going to click on image here and then I'm going to add my image by clicking anywhere in here and then selecting my image, upload image. All right, so that's the image we're going to use. I'm going to save that and we're just going to duplicate this twice because we're going to use the same image for all these examples. So I'm just dragging and dropping here. Okay, so let's start with our first image here. I'm going to click on this gear icon, design, and we're going to come all the way down here to filters. So the first one here is very straightforward. We're just going to turn our image here into black and white. So to do that, just drag the uh, saturation slider all the way down to uh, 0%. But you can see here it's a bit washed out. So this is where now you can go ahead and add a bit of brightness like that. And then you can play around with the contrast so you can see now this is much more punchier and this looks much better. But you can play around with this until you get the desired look. So I think with more of our contrast here, this image looks much better. So that's all you need to do. You've adjusted that and that looks much, much better as a black and white image. So as you can see, we have a lot of power in here. It's almost similar to Photoshop. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna save. Let's move on to our next one. I'm gonna click here on the, this gear icon design and filters. Okay, so for this here, we're gonna do something a bit different. So we're going to add a sepia tone. So I'm just gonna increase it like that. And what I'm also going to do is to reduce my saturation here a little bit like that. And now you can see we have a sepia tone and this looks really, really nice. It looks old school. And this could be maybe the desired look that you wanna go with. And again, we can also play around with our brightness and also our contrast. So for this, I'm just going to uh, reduce my contrast a little bit like that. All right, so I'm done here. I'm going to save. All right, so let's move on to the next example. So again, like we did before, we're going to click on this gear icon to go into our image settings. Come over here to design and then go to filters. Now, as I look at this image, I can see that I can uh, make it much better by increasing my brightness and my contrast. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna increase my brightness here, but of course you don't wanna do it too much because it will look very exaggerated. You can see here the face is blown out and also the shirt is blown out. So you just wanna do it until it just looks nice. So I think round about here is uh, perfect. And then I'm just going to add my contrast and you can see now that that is looking much better. But of course, you don't want to be you don't want to do it too much because like that, it doesn't look great. So you want to find a middle point and this is going to differ with uh, each image. So there we go. I think this is the right spot and that is looking much, much better. So let's say you're designing your website, you're adding all your images as they're coming in. So as you can see, this could be a bit of a problem because every single image that you're going to add, you're going to go in and start playing around with the sliders. So I'm going to show you the next tip now, which will make this process much, much easier for you by just pretty much automating it. So what I'm going to do now is to show you what are called presets. So I'm just going to save this and then uh, we'll do a preset of this black and white image here. So I'm going to go into this gear icon. Now on the top here, I'm going to click on this drop down and click on create new preset from current styles. I'm going to select that and we're just going to call this black and white. So I'm just going to call it B and W. Okay. And I'm going to click on save and then save one more time. Okay, great. So now let's say I need to add another image. So I'm going to click on this plus button, single column, and uh, let's add our image module like that. All right, so the image I'm going to add is in my uh, media library already. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's say this one here, upload image. Now what I can do to this, if we were going to do this without the presets, we would need to come over here, go to our filters, and then we're going to start playing around with the black and white sliders. So because we have a filter now, I can just click on this drop down and then just apply my filter. And you can see now black and white has been applied. But just because we've applied this filter, it doesn't mean that this ends here. So let's say maybe it's not looking great. You can always come over here again and reduce the contrast or maybe even reduce the brightness like that. But this does not change the actual preset. So let me save that and I'm going to add one more image. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So let's add another image. So this is going to depend on uh, the type of image you have. So let's add another one. This time it's the drone. Upload image. And I'm going to again choose my preset, black and white, and boom, just like that. My preset has been applied and this is now our black and white image. So go ahead, add the other presets to the other styles that you have on your site. And this will save you a ton of time as you're designing your website. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I also have a DV review, so please check it out. I will add it on the end cards. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker Divi template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.